All right, so here we are um, talking about our next topic, which, which is the role of the tennis pro uh, when they're running uh, some of these larger clinics. And um, we've already talked about lesson plan, preparation, court breakdown, um, the, the, the vision of the players on the court, the relative levels, uh, the personalities, how you put people together. All these things are important. And now we're going to talk about the role of the tennis pro. So, well, let's start out by saying what we don't like the tennis pro to do. The tennis pro is not here to boss these players around, to correct them every mistake that they make. In fact, my dad used to um, teach a course called Six Sigma, where they only focus on uh, people's uh, strengths, not their weaknesses. So I tend to do that with the clinic. Like, uh, I don't tell people that they have to start working on something that they're not really good at. I stick with telling, uh, encouraging them to use their strengths. So, and it does keep everybody in a good mood. So the first thing to do is to look at all these players and, and what, look at their faces and see if they're actually engaged in the clinic. And if they're not, you have to pick the one that's not engaged or the two that are not engaged and you gotta somehow get them, get them engaged in some way, um, you know, and you can just say little things. You can drop uh, little seeds, plant some seeds and drop some hints. And um, you can get people like coached up into a better mood. But the mood is important. And sometimes it's uncontrollable, out of your control. But a lot of times it isn't. So it's important for us to control the mood. Uh, one of my pet peeves is uh, when people, after each drill, they pick up, regardless of whether there are balls left in the cart or not. Uh, but what I do is I can get through an hour and a half clinic with three carts. So this way, these people pick up once after, you know, 25, 30 minutes in, once more after um, an hour into the clinic, and then the last pickup is at the end. And that one doesn't even count because if you've done it correctly, and it's a great clinic, and uh, everybody had a great time, then you don't have to worry about that last pickup. That last pickup is just sort of icing on the cake. So the pro is a facilitator, and, and their job is to keep things moving at the right speed for this level, and um, not to shout and yell and tell uh, people what to do but just to make little suggestions. Again, it's, it's, we're trying to frame the clinic. We're trying to get the right atmosphere for these people to have a good time. And that's your number one job. Uh, feeding, um, instruction, you know, all that other stuff is secondary. The most important thing is to create an atmosphere where these people can learn and grow and have fun. And actually, that's what we just stick with. It's um, having fun and learning. And if those two things are going on, then, then you're solid. 